doing own voice over soft music Jungkook was standing in front of his soon to be boss that is Mr Kim the mafia king of Seoul who owns a lot of companies hotels university hospital a millionaire's millionaire Mr Kim was going through the information of Jungkook which his secret agent sent him as he is selecting Jungkook for his one and only princess Kim Wine so he definitely he will have to secure about any steps he take John Jungkook Jungkook bold voice yes sir So by your information I got it that you are very perfect and strict in your job and even ready to sacrifice your life to complete the task you assigned for Jungkook confident voice yes sir Wine Dad Shrim you are appointed so your only job is to protect my princess Kim Wine you mean I have to be her bodyguard Wine Dad nodded her head It's simple sir I have been the bodyguards of politicians and even other millionaires and even celebrities too so guarding us girl is very easy for me Jungkook had a confident in him I like your confident but you don't have to use your those experience in guarding my daughter rather you have to pretend to be just a normal student and guard her in secret without her knowing Jungkook from but why sir you can clearly tell her that I am her bodyguard Jungkook asked Wine's dad which made Wine's dad mesmerized because none of his employees nor the people who work for him ever back questioned him they just simply follow his order I like your audacity to back question me sir don't take me wrong I was just knowing the details of your daughter so that I will be useful for me to act according Good my daughter wasn't a topic till now has I have hid her identity very well so she was living her life like a normal girl which she wants but somehow my enemies got to know about my princess and they were now well aware that she is my weakness so last week someone tried to but luckily I was with her so I protected her but not every time I can be with her especially at her college timing that's why I searched for the best bodyguard in mid 20s so has to pretend like a student and I get your information okay sir I understand you and you can trust me well I need to guard her without her knowing yes sir so here is the admission letter you have to pretend like a student in college don't worry i already arranged everything and informed all the teachers of the university about you it's my college so you will not face any problem Okay sir took the admission letter for how long i have to work one year okay sir and here are the photo of my daughter it will make you easy to recognize her in class wine's dad gave him a pick of wine and jungkook took it but when he saw the pick his heart skip a bit he was never seen a beautiful girl like her she is and at the same time cute too was lost in wine's pick which didn't gone unnoticed by wine's dad wine dad trim beautiful right looking like an angel Yes sir he unknowingly said as he was lost in wine's pick but came to reality after the words slipped from his mouth and he looked at wine's dad just to see him staring at him like he will jungkook right there and now i'm sorry leave and start your okay sir saying this he left holding wine's pick in his hand jungkook is an orphan from young age he has a body and personality which suits a bodyguard so he opted for that job and also it was a much earning job for him along with doing bodyguard job he took his classes and graduated wine's mom 5 years ago due to some health issue and wine is a kind hearted girl therefore her dad kept her away from all the media mafia and also has to protect her but somehow her dad's enemy got to know about her and tried to Oh, it's so boring exactly every class are boring just one more year then i will never study same i will enjoy my life traveling and all what if i do we well, both were talking about their future life but soon the door open and the, comes the professor but what everyone were noticing was a new student who come with the professor so you all predicted right a new student john jungkook please introduce yourself Jungkook that's all he coldly sailed while ignoring all the girls who were drooling over him and his eyes were searching for wine and then he found her who was already lost in him Jungkook wine thought oh god is he real how can someone be this much handsome manly figure well fit body face seemed to be cold but at the same time that coldness of his face making him more handsome she came to reality when Go and sit near Wine. Um, Era, can you shift at somewhere else? Let him sit near Wine. Yeah, sure, sir. She shifted to another seat, and Jungkook sat beside Wine. And Wine was looking at Jungkook, who approached her and sat next to her. Wine thought he is more handsome this close. Jungkook turned his face to see Wine, who was looking at him, and he too got lost in Wine's eyes, which he found so attractive. Jungkook thought, Oh God, she is more beautiful in real. After seeing her pic, I misunderstood that it might be some edited pic, but no, she is really an angel. Both were lost in each other, and they both came to reality when the professor started taking class. 
the professor was teaching and every students were taking notes except jungkook which caught wayne's eye so she slightly tapped jungkook's desk to gain his attention and he looked at her need anything wayne got nervous hearing his cold voice um no i just why aren't you taking notes wayne shut up but ask him what she wanted to ask i don't need to take notes wayne frowned why aren't you understanding anything here you can take mine if you want wayne forward her notes to him but jungkook was amazed by Wine's kind behavior has in our thought that wine will be this sweet as almost every time he work for millennia their daughters are small brat um no i am listening and i am good in remembering what i listen oh okay then she turned her face to the professor wine and leah were walking to the canteen when leah felt like someone is following them so she turned around to see jungkook walking to be specific following them she indeed felt like this from the time they left the class wine that new boy is Who oh, Jungkook? Yeah, Wayne turned around to see Jungkook. Was there behind? But Wayne was all cool. Leah, he might be coming to canteen to has its lunch break. Wayne said, making Leah like this. Wayne and saw Jungkook following her everywhere throughout the day in canteen, in library, except washroom. Wayne just ignored it, thinking he might be exploring the university. Has he is new? Wine was walking to the university gate while texting her driver to come and pick her up and Jungkook was standing behind the pillar making sure she is safe but soon he found a suspicious man wearing mask and bucket hat approaching Wine in a bike with something sharp object in his hand so he ran towards Wine Wine watched out Wine turned around and found Jungkook running towards her and soon he turned Wine and engulfed her in his embrace completely covering her tiny body with his big one and the masked man missed his target and his passed through Jungkook's bicep making his shirt from there rip and started flowing from there before Jungkook could see the number plate of the bike wine holders and oh my god jungkook your hands are Jungkook faced Wine her eyes were wide open and her face was clearly showing she got scared I'm okay he coldly said okay you are Jungkook why it's okay i will treat it after going home no way i'm taking you to my house soon a car stop in front of Jungkook and Wine and Wine found it's her car come Jungkook why it's okay no it's not okay come let's treat your wound Wine was panicking and the bl- was flowing in more amount so she pushed Jungkook into the car and asked the driver to drive fast Oh god the is not stopping Jungkook wait she took her handkerchief and tied it around Wine Jungkook's wound stopping the to flow and all the time Jungkook was just admiring Wine as it's the first time someone is taking care of him after he got hurt otherwise all the people for whom he worked just praise him for his brave behavior and leave him without asking how he is but some soon Jungkook came to reality when he realized he was admiring his boss daughter which he shouldn't do so he shrugged off his thought and tried to take his hand from Wine's hold Wine be calm I'm okay Wine sign no it happened because of my carelessness dad always tells me not to walk while using phone Wine thought that it was an accident as she was walking while using her phone and Jungkook's biceps got hit with the car mirror of bike Soon they reached the mansion and Wine took Jungkook inside and made him sit on couch wait here I will be back after getting a first aid box saying this she ran to her room without waiting for Jungkook's reply Why are you so sweet he whispered while looking at the direction from where Wine left but soon he heard a voice what are you doing here Jungkook he turned around to see Wine's dad so he immediately stood up from coach and bowed to him So I Wine's dad noticed the hand of Jungkook which was tied with a soaked handkerchief oh god Jungkook what happened Jungkook signed so he told everything Wine dad dark eyes I know it's them my enemy I will soon them and Jungkook you really proved that you are perfect for this job and I hope you keep protecting my daughter till I that enemy of mine yes so I will princess has no doubt on you right Yes sir she doesn't have any dra- uh, doubt okay he paused when Wine came downstairs running Jungkook come I will treat you oh appa Wine dad smile how are you princess I'm not okay appa Wine dad from what happened here he asked as if he doesn't know anything because he doesn't want it to make Wine scared Actually appa today I was about to get hit by a bike but luckily Jungkook was near and he saved me but he got hurt while saving me so I thought to treat him be careful from next time Wine nodded her head Okay princess treat him I have some work Wine nodded her head and Wine's dad left after peeking Wine's forehead and just gave a slight nod to Jungkook which Jungkook replied back without noticing Wine and he left Jungkook said yeah he sat on couch and Wine started treating his is it hurting she asked while slowly applying medicine on his wound no you are really a strong man Jungkook she uh, looked up at Jungkook just to realize how close they both were as Jungkook breathed was hitting Wine's forehead but Jungkook 
Um, yeah, a little bit burning. Why don't you come to reality? Oh, I will do it slowly. Can you please do it fast? I wanna go home too. Jungkook said as he was already getting nervous in front of Vine. Yeah, sure. Vine quickly treated his wound. Done. Thank you. No need to thank me. I should say thank you for saving me. No, it's okay. I will leave. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Jungkook just nodded his head and left. Meanwhile, Vine kept watching him leaving. Vine was lying on her bed, but all she was thinking about Jungkook and how he saved her without caring his life, which made Vine to fall in love with Jungkook. Jungkook too was lying on his bed in one hand Vine's pick which her dad gave him in morning and the other hand holding a handkerchief thinking about how Vine cared for him which made Jungkook to fall in love with Vine deeper but he shrugged off that thoughts because he is just a bodyguard and doing his duty. As soon as Vine's car left the gate of her mansion Jungkook started following her as he was waiting near the gate. Vine get out of the car just to see Jungkook walking out of his car to Vine smile hi Jungkook she ran to him hello how are you? Fine. Wine chuckled. I mean your wound. Yeah, a little better than yesterday. Let's get it. It's not good to stand here. Jungkook said as they both were outside making wine agree. Yeah, come. Let's go together. Both head inside. Here, she placed a tablet strip in front of Jungkook. Jungkook from what's this? He said while pointing at the strip. I asked my family doctor what to do to heal the wound and he told me about this and luckily dad was having it so I took it to give you. Have it here. She said and placed the water bottle in front of him. When Jungkook thought, please don't be this good to me. I will fail in my duty. Jungkook was deep in thought while looking at wine but came to reality when wine shouted Jungkook. Um, yeah. Take this. Jungkook looked at her palm just to see she already took one tablet and opened the bottle cap and extending it to Jungkook. Thank you. He took the tablet and water bottle from Vine and Harry. Doctor said you will get relief in 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. Come on, Jungkook, don't say thank you and let's be friendly. Vine said while extending her hand for handshake. Meanwhile, Jungkook just kept looking at her hand. Jungkook thought it's good. Boss also warned that I should always stay with Vine. So if I will become her friend, I can also be with her and don't need to follow her. Yeah, sure, friend. He shaked hand with Vine, making a white smile appear on Vine's lips. Vine thought, now see how I make you fall in love with me. Soon the smile of Vine got replaced with a shrimp. Meanwhile, here Jungkook was struggling to take his hand from Vine's as Vine was not leaving his hand. Um, Vine, she came to real Yeah, Jungkook. Jungkook was all nervous and his eyes were fixed on. They'll intertwine hands. My hand. Wine followed his gaze to see both of their palms intertwine. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Immediately she withdrawn from the handshake. So today we are friends. Yeah. Like this, a month passed, almost a year passed. Wine fall in love with Jungkook. The way he cared, protect her, made her fall in love with him. And on the other hand, Jungkook to fall in love with her. But he is still cold towards her. Vine pulled bang Jungkook to the backyard of college after everyone left. Jungkook, I want to say something very important. Seriousness was visible on her face, making Jungkook worry that what if someone tried to hurt him? What, did anyone try to hurt you again? Vine fall for his concerned behavior and thus a sweet smile appeared on her lips after saying Jungkook concerned and worried for her. Vine smiled, no. Jungkook from then, what is the serious matter? Jungkook asked because right now Vine's safety is what he is concerned about. Vine nervous I, but her phone ringed and she took it to see Leah. Vine called, hello Leah, you will come to Vine call. I don't know if I need to ask Kappa. Whatever it is, you, you're okay, I will try. Okay, then see you at club and bring Jungkook to Yeah, Leah cut the call and Vine faced Jungkook who was already looking at Vine. It was Leah and today it's her birthday. She invited us to club to celebrate. Are you going? I don't know. Depends if Appa agrees. Anyways, you go and enjoy. No, I won't go. And only go if you are going. Wine again looked at her him lovingly. Wine, what you wanted to say? Wine came to reality. Oh, that I will tell if I will come to party. Otherwise, tomorrow. Jungkook nodded his head. Has now Wine doesn't seem to be serious. Jungkook stood up the car in front of Vine's house as in this month. Jungkook started picking up and dropping her. Go inside. Aren't you coming inside? Jungkook from Vine. I will ask Appa and if you also insist Appa then Appa will agree to leave me to party. But partying and all is not good. He said because Vine has so to save her but Vine wanted to go. Um, Please I need to go. It's my friend's birthday party and Appa trust you. He will agree if you will stay that you are also going. Jungkook often visit Vine's house resulting Vine's dad and him to have a good bond now and Vine's dad now trust Jungkook. Okay fine I will talk come. Jungkook said as he didn't feel like saying no to Vine because it's the first thing which uh, Vine ever requested and also her puppy eyes weren't helping him though. 
Jungkook and Wine came inside and saw Wine's dad on coach using laptop. Appa he took up and saw Jungkook and Wine. Welcome home, princess. And Jungkook have some have a seat. Yes, uncle. He called Uncle Oli in front of Wine. Appa, I wanna ask something. Go on, princess. He said while closing his laptop and focus on Wine's word. Um, Leah is having a party at club. Can I go? Wine shuddered because she now was nervous, as she knows that her dad will say no. Uh, is Wang Jungkook going? He asked while looking at Jungkook and Jungkook to looked at Wine's dad only to see him indicating Jungkook to say no and Jungkook got it. But then Jungkook faced Wine just his heart to skip a bit. Her puppy eyes and her eyes clearly showing hope that Jungkook will say yes. Jungkook thought I will not break my first promise I gave to her. Has he already said earlier that he will take Wine to club so for the first time in his job he betrayed his own job. Yes, uncle, she called me too. He said while well, ducking directly at Wine's dad's eyes and Wine's dad's eyes wide open because Jungkook gone against him and now he has to agree to Wine. Okay, fine, go. You can go. Wine's eyes light up hearing her dad and a white smell appeared on her lips. Really, Wine's dad unwillingly nodded his head. Wine happy. Thank you, Appa. You are the best. But be safe. I will, Appa. And now I will go and select dress for me. Jungkook, you will come to pick me, right? Wine turned to Jungkook who was already admiring Wine. As Wine was so happy as a baby got ice cream after crying a lot, making a small smile appear on Jungkook's lip. Yeah, I will. Okay, then I will go and start getting ready. Jungkook nodded his head and Wine left. After they heard the sound of Wine closing her bedroom door, why you say that I asked you to say no? You know now she had calmed down, sir. You trust me, right? Jungkook asked Wine's dad who was panicking. I do. Then keep trusting me, so I will bring your daughter fit and fine to house without any word. Keep your words. Yes, sir. Wine's dad released his breath which he was holding but soon his phone rang and he took it. Yes, what? I'm coming. His eyes were dark and he immediately left without saying to anything to Jungkook. Wine, she ran to her and hug her. Happy birthday, girl. Why? Leah back away from her and Wine gave a gift to Leah. I'm so happy that you came. How can I not? Yeah, if you won't come, then who will come? Oh, Jungkook, she thanks for coming. Oh, Jungkook called no mention and happy birthday. He too gave a small gift. Thank you. You both enjoy. I will look at other classmates too. Leah shrimped while uh, saying enjoy because she knew Wine loved Jungkook, making Wine blush a little. Yeah, you go. Don't worry about us. Leah nodded and left and Wine faced Jungkook. Come, let's have a drink. Jungkook quiet as you drink too. Wine chuckled, not fond of, but as now we are in club, so at least we should say cheers. Jungkook agreed and both head to the drink section. Uh, shots for me and you, she asked while facing Jungkook. I won't drink. I have to drive you back home. So that means I will drink alone. It's not fair. Wine sadly ported. Um, get me a lime juice. The waiter noted and left to prepare the drinks for both. Here, so and ma'am, he placed their order and left. After the waiter left, both took their drinks and cheers. Cheers. Wine got completely drunk as she was taking one after another. Wine, stop, you are drunk. She and Jungkook kept saying this from a long time but no use. Wine was drinking. No, let me drink. Then only I will get the courage to propose you. Why, Jungkook front proposed me. Um, yeah, I love you. She said while cupping Jungkook's cheeks and Jungkook got all nervous. He knew Wine loves him but never thought that she would propose him and also as Wine was drunk. And it's not the right time to talk so he, come let's go home. No, I don't go home unless you say you love me back. I know you love me too. Jungkook's eye again got numb. Jungkook thought, how did she find it? Was my action too obvious or like hers or did I unknowingly say I love her in sleep or something? Don't think too much. Your eyes are telling me that you love me. Wine, you are drunk. That's why you are getting wrong feeling from my eyes. No, I know it much before. Say it back to me. Wine slowly leaned her head on Jungkook's shoulder and closed her eyes. So Jungkook signed and having no other option, he carried wine in bridal style and head outside. Jungkook placed wine on the passenger seat and put on seat belt and head to his driver's seat. He was about to pull his seat belt but he felt like someone sat on his and he turned to see wine. What are you doing? Um, I Wine's eyes land on Jungkook's lips, making her lose control as she already wasn't in her sense and she smashed her lips on his and started him. But Jungkook was all numb on his seat and his eyes were wide open and Wine pulled back as Jungkook didn't her back. Why you didn't me back? Wine ported, making Jungkook to lose control and he pulled Wine closer to her by her nape and smashed her lips on her and started her and soon she to him back while running her one hand in his lock and other around his neck. Meanwhile, Jungkook's one hand around her and other one behind her here with thumb on her. 
cheek but soon he stopped when he fell like wine stopped him only to see wine fall asleep again and jungko came to reality what the i have done he slowly made wine lay on his shoulder and grabbed his hair in frustration be cool jungko maybe she will forget it tomorrow jungko's heart ache on hearing that wine will uh, forget tomorrow about them but now it's good for both of them jungko finally took a deep breath and wiped his tears away and started the engine Jungko carried Wayan to her room and laid her down on bed. Took her heels and covered her with blanket and lastly stared at her cute face. I'm sorry. All he said was that and peeked her forehead and left the room after turning off the light. Jungko walked down the stairs and now Wayan's dad coming inside the house. His left hand was so he approached him in worry. Oh God, sir, what happened? I'm fine. Is Princess safe? Yes, sir. Now she is sleeping peacefully. Thanks, Jungko. Jungko got confused as why he suddenly said thanks to him. Jungko frowned by, sir. So earlier the call which Jayan's dad received was warm his man saying that finally after trying for a year they were able to track the enemy and they have planned to attack wines you took a right decision by taking wine out to the club because my so called enemy have planned to come here to her but as he didn't find her so he attacked me and i got hurt jungko got a little tense on hearing that and thought what if they come again so what if they come again Don't worry he will never has I already him and now my daughter is safe Jungkook caught calm a little but this time an unknown fear rushed to his body while thinking Jungkook thought that means now I will leave wine as my duty is over but he came to reality when wine's dad placed his hand on Jungkook's shoulder I am a bit tired you will be talk tomorrow morning and from tomorrow you don't have to go to college Jungkook's prediction turned true but he can't say no or do anything rather than accepting wine's dad's word Yes sir but now let me treat your wound saying this he made wine's dad sit on couch and took the first aid box and after asking wine's dad where it is and treated him I will leave now yeah okay and don't forget to come here in morning i have an important discussion with you wine jungko unknowingly nodded his head and left meanwhile wine's dad kept looking at his disappearing sad figure Wine woke up and sat straight on my head she held her head and tightly closed her eyes but then she forcefully opened her eyes Wait how can I come uh, I then a sweet smile uh, formed on her lips when she remember what happened yesterday and of course Jungkook brought him He is so sweet but he didn't give me reply to my confession but wait he me back that means he loves me but I want to hear that word from him yeah let's go to his house and again propose him she said to herself and left to bathroom to freshen up After freshening up she head to her dad's office room to see her dad and take permission to go to Jungkook. Appa you there she called him after getting into the room but didn't find him but then she saw a file fallen on the floor. Ash Appa is so careless let me keep that file properly on table it might be important. She approached the file on floor and near the table and picked it up and her eyes wide open after seeing Jungkook's information. Her heart ached but then too she got curious why her Appa has Jungkook's information so she read his inf- formation and one particular thing catch her eyes making her eyes turn teary give his best in his job that is guarding people wine's heart ached by realizing that what she thought that his care love protection all these days months was not true rather he was just doing his duty wine crying so you were just doing your duty to protect me and i was a fool to think that you care for me because you have feelings for me she took the file back on table and head inside She was about to enter her room when she heard the voice of the man she fell in love with for the first time and her eyes turned red in anger and an urge to know Jungkook and to know the truth from Jungkook raised in her as somewhere in her heart she still believing that Jungkook loves her so she went downstairs So Jungkook you did a very good job in protecting my daughter without her knowing but now has the things are clear and also I'm leaving mafia work as in this one year I saw when my enemy always threatened me by my daughter name at that time I decided that I will and leave this profession just for my daughter's safety Jungkook smile good decision sir and I have transferred extra money to your account Jungkook's heart ache on hearing that because it felt like he took money from protecting his love thank you sir but I don't need your extra money Uh, come on jungkook it's my gift to you for protecting my daughter with risking your own life and also from now you don't have to work jungkook signed has he know that it will happen one day but has now he is not his duty and uh, body got post any more so he decided to ask why and dad something um sir can i ask you something go on boy i he wasn't able to complete when he heard a voice from behind and turn around to see you woke up princess come here let me tell you something 
Wine heard everything, but then too she approached her dad, and her eyes were fixed on Jungkook, and Jungkook too was looking directly into Wine's eyes. Wine, princess, hear me properly, okay? Wine and Jungkook both were still staring at each other, but Wine's next word made Jungkook's eyes wide open. Appa, I'm ready to marry the boy you arranged for me a year ago. Wine's dad became happy on hearing his daughter, but princess, at that time you rejected him, and now what happened? Uh, nothing up and now i realize that you always do good for me she said while still keeping her eyes on jungkook who was looking at wine with wide open eyes and his eyes were clearly showing pain and jealous wine died smile yes princess i always do best for you just like i appointed wine cut him off just like you appointed john jungkook has my secret boyfriend jungkook's eyes got more wide open how you doesn't matter wine coldly said making jungkook's heart break Oh thank god now i was thinking of how to say it to you but now as you know i have no problem wait let me inform this to mark's father he will be so happy saying this he took his phone and was about to call mark with whom wine had arranged for her a year back but wine rejected him go on and i'm leaving to my room she was about to leave but halted when jungkook hold her wrist and wine's dad didn't saw this as he was busy searching the contact of mark and his family but what he heard next made him look at jungkook and wine with wide eyes leave my hand jungkook no first tell me why you agreed wine chuckled none of your business jungkook closed his eyes to control himself wine i know you agreed just because you were angry on me after knowing that i was just a bodyguard You wow seems like my so called bodyguard knows me very well Jungkook roll eyes of course i know you better than anyone wine raised eyebrows better than anyone why are you so confident about it that you know me better than anyone wine was testing his patience so in anger he shouted i love you kim wine i fall in love with you the moment your dad showed me your pic if you won't believe then ask him he clearly warned me with his eyes that don't fall in love with you but i failed after seeing you taking care of me i fall more harder for you and wanted to keep you always safe and happy with me but i was just a bodyguard appointed by your father so i controlled my feelings for you but later i came to know that you to love me the way i love you i was about to propose you but then thought if i will propose you our relationship will start with a lie a whole lie of me being hiding hiding my identity so then i decided to propose you after and then i will tell you the truth about me and then propose you and i was about to say to your dad that i love you but you came jungkook just shouted all his feelings which he was hiding in him from a year and now he was taking long breath to calm himself but then he felt wine cupped his cheek and he looked at wine just to see her giving him a sweet smile just answer my two questions did you care for me sincerely or just has your responsibility and second why you didn't reply to my confession yesterday my care and protection was sincere for you i didn't do it as my responsibility and about my reply i wanted to reply you after revealing my identity wine smile i'm sorry just in anger i said that to fix my marriage just to make you jealous and know your true feeling jungkook smile i love you wine smile i love wine wasn't able to complete when How dare you fall in love with my daughter leave my house before i ask my guards to kick you out wine's eyes again filled with tears and jungkook's too he was knowing that wine's dad will not take me appa i love him it's not going to happen and you will marry to the man i find for you so please i will take good care of her i will treat her like a queen wine dad chuckled queen really do you think that your this small amount of salary will keep my daughter happy no way junko just think practically she had a millionaire's life till now from the day she was born and suddenly adjusting to a small house and minimal income will make my princess life difficult Appa, no, I will adjust with all. I just need Jungkook. It's easy to say, Princess. As now you are so in love with him, but it will all change once you will both will start living together, start having a family. Appa, please, I will also go to work and help Jungkook. Jungkook, surprise, no, why? And you will not work. And so, believe me, I will work hard to give all the happiness to your daughter. No, whatever you both say, I will not let you both together. I have an image in front of people. So, Jungkook, you leave, and you why and be ready to get married to Mark. He strictly said and left. Jungkook, I can't marry anyone. Please take me with you. Jungkook's eyes were teary. Has after a long one year, he confessed his feeling to Wine, and the most worried thing happened. But he isn't that heartless to separate a daughter from her dad. So Jungkook approached Wine and cupped her cheeks. Wine, listen, I can't take you with me, but trust me, I will make your dad agree to make us together. Sure, you trust me? Yeah, I do. Painful smile. I love you, Wine. Painful smile. I love you too, Wine. Jungkook picked Wine's forehead and left the house. Like this, a month passed, and Jungkook tried his best to convince Wine's dad, but he wasn't agreeing and carrying on with the marriage. And Wine also tried to make her dad stop the marriage, but the things Wine didn't listen. 
Wine was calling Jungkook from yesterday night, but he wasn't picking his phone, making Wine more furious and sad. But at the same time, the door of the makeup room opened and Wine's dad came in. My prince is looking so beautiful in this wedding gown. I wish your mom would have come a uh, alive to see you like this. She would have been so happy. Wine had tears in her eyes. She doesn't know why she was crying now, remembering about her mother or sad about that she is getting married to someone. Appa, please, a last try, but no use. Come, let's go. He hold Wine's wrist and took her and Wine. Having no other option, she walked with her dad while looking down and crying silently. Soon they reached the altar and Wine's dad was about to give Wine's hand to her groom. But Wine's hold his dad hand more tightly as she doesn't want it to hold someone else's hand. But soon she saw a familiar pair of palms on top of hers and taking her hand for his dad's. And soon she heard, Jungkook, you better protect my daughter. Wine look up to see Jungkook already looking at Wine with a smile face. I will, sure, sir, trust me. I trust you, boy. And I didn't, I told you. Oh, sorry, Appa. Jungkook was all lost in Wine's beauty and he answered every question of Wine's dad while looking at Wine's eyes. Don't cry. It's our wedding. He wiped Wine's tears and peeked her forehead. I love you. Wine didn't answer as she was still confused and surprised and not believing what actually happening or she is dreaming. Let's start the rituals. Jungkook slowly placed Wine on bed of their new house being gifted by Wine's dad to them. Wine was still confused. I love you, baby. I love you too, but will you explain what actually happened and how dad finally agreed? Still, yesterday he was against our relationship, Jungkook signed. Why he still ignored me, Wine called. Now what will we do? Jungkook, tomorrow is wedding. I don't want to get married. Wine started crying as today was their last crime. Babe, don't cry. How can I not cry? Aren't you sad that tomorrow I will become someone? Don't you dare to complete your words. I will never let that happen. Wine, let's run away. Has Now they have no choice. Yeah, sure, Cook. Jungkook was about to tell Wine his plan, but he heard a door knock and went to open it, still holding the phone. Babe, wait a second. Someone came. He opened the door and his wide smile. Op and he, sir, here is a wedding invitation. Hope you come. So I, Jungkook was about to deny, but Wine's dad cut him off before that opened the invitation and see it properly. Jungkook signed and took the invitation card patiently as he respect Wine's dad and so wine dad smile yes you are the groom how can i simply give my daughter to someone i should have now at least he will never gave up on my daughter and you proved it i was impressed by how you followed me everywhere and kept on convincing me and my daughter too she proved me that a lot jungkook's eyes were teary happy uh, thank you sir i will definitely take good care of my wine and treat her like a queen I know you will treat her like a queen, but before that I need you to cancel all your two or three jobs which you recently applied for. Jungkook got confused how he came to know that I know everything to give my daughter a good life. You applied in two or three jobs at the same time. But sir, without job, how can I take care of her? For that, take my position in my company. Jungkook's eyes wide open. Sir, sorry, I can't. I want to build my own career. Why instead become more proud of Jungkook? Who said I'm giving my company to you? After I saw your profile on the first day, I got it that you had a good education qualification. So work as a CEO in my company and I will pay you half salaries as I was looking for a CEO and I wanted to take rest. Jungkook got happy and accepted the offer. And about not picking your call, uh, dad took my phone as I was about to say it to you and he wanted to give you a surprise. Ash, Appa, really something. He made us suffer for a month. Let it be. He is a dad. So of course, he will always cautious about his step. You are right, but anyways, finally we are together. I am so happy. Wine threw herself on Jungkook and Jungkook hugged her tightly and her top of it. I love you, babe. I promise I will give you all the happiness. Wine pulled back from hug. I love you more. I promise to also make you the happiest man on earth. Jungkook smiled. You already you don't have to. I already become the happiest man when you said I do in our wedding and accepted me as your husband. Babe, do you remember our first Wine blush, um, yeah, can I again? You, Wine just nodded her head and Jungkook smashed his lips on her and thus they had her. Babe, I was holding myself from a long time but not anymore. Today I'm gonna make you mine, John Wine. You ready? Wine blush, I'm always ready to you, John Jungkook. Jungkook again smashed his lips on her and the end. Thanks for watching. Bye.